Okay, so let's go ahead and create the save UI as well. So if we go inside our town scene again now, let's focus upon the player. And inside the save canvas, let's go ahead and create a UI panel by the name of save panel. And then inside the save panel, let's create a legacy text by the name of save text. And let's change into 2D mode. Let's focus upon the save panel. Okay, so here it is. Now inside the text, we will type your game has been saved as you can see right there. Let's make the font size 40. Let's select the font as well and then right here make the width of it as 600 and the height of it as 100 and now as you can see there it is let's move it to the middle center like that okay now to check it out in the game view here it is okay but it is not in the center so if you click on the save panel let's move the save panel to the center as well now if we expand it okay here it is this is the panel and actually what we will do with the panel is just make the a value zero so that it is transparent then select the save text and i don't know why it is not moving to the center it is right here let me change the text color to white and then let's click on save panel here it is then this is the text i don't know why it is not moving to the center but okay let's move it like that okay so i think now it is still not on the center let's let's check out okay now as you can see it is in the center okay just decrease the safe panel size okay i mean the text size okay just decrease like that okay and now as you can see it is in the center your game has been saved but we don't want to show this like this okay we want this to be hide and whenever we save the game then it should show that let's open up the save glow script inside the civilization we have this save glow now from here now we will show the ui as you can see we left a comment for the ui right here okay so first of all we need a reference to our save ui so we'll say public game object save ui game object then down below after this on trigger let's create a enumerator type function and let's name this function as save UI. Then in here, what we will do is first we will activate the save UI game object. Okay, whenever the player save the game, so we will set that to true. And we will show this for some seconds. So we will say yield return new wait for seconds and the wait will be two seconds then after that we will deactivate the save ui game object so let's now this time set it to false that is it now right here instead of the debug what we will do now we will say start coroutine I don't know how to spell it but it is same as that then in here we will call the save UI function like this and that will be it now if we save this and get back to unity now make sure that it is deactivated like this okay then inside our player house go inside the save area and right here we have the save below script so right here what we will do we will drag and drop our save panel so if we click on save area 
then drag and drop the save panel right there that is it okay so now if we do that let's move this as well click on scene open up the main menu scene and now let's test this out as well so if we click on start okay here it is now let's go ahead and save the game and you will notice the ui okay here it is now as you can see it shows your game has been saved for two second and it has been saved because you can see the debug message save right there okay if we save it again as you can see it shows the ui again your game has been saved so now we can see the save game ui as well perfectly fine now the only thing which is now remaining is the cutscenes okay whenever we start the game we want to show the start cutscene and we also show the cutscene in the police station okay so we have two cutscenes i will explain you step by step how to create a cutscene and i hope you will then understand how to create your own cutscenes for your game okay so now with this done i will catch you guys in the next one